Welcome to JavaScript for Beginners and in this video we're focusing on Chart.js. Chart.js is one of the wonderful chart libraries that is out there currently and it is very quick to use and very easy to learn and that makes it really really fun. And one of the things that's always really lacking in my opinion was how to display data visually. And the reason why this is so important now is because there is so much data and now figuring out what is important data and what is not is becoming more and more uh, a discussion. So uh, figuring out how you can display it gives you also a lot of uh, extra skills and benefits. The main reason for this is if you are able to display data in a way that people can read your data in a matter of seconds, you're good. And that's really the key with Chart.js. Chart.js basically does that creating charts that makes you instantly understand what is going on. So let's start with this. So first of all, I'm going to give you a basic part here. Very simple. Here we have here our text editor. And it's very simple. This is Sublime. You can use Sublime or Node++, plus plus, anything you want. Doesn't matter. Yes. What I'm doing here is right now you can see here, yes, I'm using Bootstrap as a standard for the design. I'm using Bootstrap 4 maybe 4.0 but 4.1 is no problem at all the goal here basically is to give it some uh, more appealing design that's the most important thing so what i did here so far as you can see here let me show you what we have here we have absolutely nothing yes i add a bootstrap css i add the chart.js library very important and i just have the body giving the background color and i have test here so you can see this is really our things let's put in some test data here and you will see that this will correlate yes all right so we see that this is all connected here so you might ask about where can i find this one here very simple just go here and here once you go to chart.js the documentation then click getting started and then you can scroll a little bit up or down you can find it here this is really it so we're going to start really really basic and then step by step we're going more, a bit more deeper all right Focus number one will be, of course, creating a chart. So what, what is the chart we're going to create? Right now, I'm just going to start with a really basic chart. And what we're going to do is we're just going to use the documentation for this. So getting started, you can see here, let's get started using chart.js, blah, blah, blah. All right, copy this, my chart. I'm going to put it in here. There we are. All right, that's our canvas. So chart.js works with canvas and if you've seen there are some other ones that, that are using SVG. SVG is very good because it doesn't pixelate. Canvas does pixelate if you want to zoom in or if your chart is too small and you want to make it extract, you want to stretch it out. So, so you have to consider that. All right, so next, what do we need? Well, for example, we need this here. Now, to, now we can create a chart. Basically, with this information already, we can start. I'm just going to copy this here so we have that right away script and then this closing script paste this I'm not going to explain this yet all I'm going to say is when you play paste this make sure that it's always after this script here very important this probably we can move up that's not a problem however the script of the JavaScript library of charges must be first shown and the reason why is it will read first this library and then we'll understand what's going on here. I'll just save this and let's go to our HTML document and refresh and there we are. All right, we have the first thing here. So that's a nice start and this is a line chart. Next video, we're going deeper in this and we're going to play around with this.